Hello everyone, Maria here again and I decided to try to film outside today because we have a bit of sun also I, you can't see it properly from here uh, I hope the sound will be okay um, so today I wanted to make a short update on the no shopping challenge and uh, today I wanted to talk to you about the temptations now um, about a week ago I made the first video uh, with the introduction to the no shopping challenge and I will link it down below in the comments. Uh, actually I started this challenge on the 20th of January and so the last purchase was made on the 19th of January and after that I thought okay now stop. And the funny thing is to support myself at first I took a calendar I, I decided I would mark every day where I'm, no sh where I'm not shopping, where I haven't purchased anything. And I think the first 10 days I used it and, you know, it really helped where I could, you know, cross out a day and uh, tell myself, okay, well done, now uh, that's an achievement. Because I'm a person who likes this kind of calendars or, you know, sheets where you can mark your progress or anything like a... Oh, that gives you points for achieving something <laughs> but uh, returning to the temptations the first temptation that I had was uh, on the first day of the challenge and uh, I was uh, in a shop so I just uh, sometimes I just walk past some shops and I check them out and I uh, walked past the shop it was the uh, Galerie Kaufhof uh, at uh, Alexanderplatz. Yeah, I'm pointing in that direction because it's that way. <laughs> and uh, I saw that they have 20% discount on all the perfumes and there was one perfume that I kind of like. I, I still want it but I think I will maybe buy it next year or ask for it for you know my birthday next year or something because I don't need it now. But at that moment I thought oh 20% discount I could buy it now and you know, I picked it up and I smelled it and I thought, oh, fantastic, I love it, I want it. And I went to the checkout and I stopped to talk to the lady, um, to the one of the shop assist, shopping assistants, and I asked her if uh, they gave uh, testers to go, uh, not, not testers, but you know, small uh, perfumes, uh, what are they called? Uh, she said, uh, well, you can't choose them. But yeah, they would give you something at the checkout, but you can't choose them. And I thought, oh, well, if I bought this perfume online, I would be able to choose the perfumes that I want to go with it. And I thought, well, then I probably won't buy it now. I kind of, I was in doubt. And then I also remembered, okay, that's it. I have a challenge. I can't just uh, push it off one day and say, okay, I'll buy, I'd make my last purchase today and, buy, and stop buying tomorrow. I thought, I, otherwise I would just do it every day so I put the perfume on the shelf and I walked out and I was very proud of myself then I was tempted another day by another perfume which was also on sale and I didn't buy it as well but it was easier the second time my third temptation was um, a body lotion because I had to go to DM which is our local drugstore to buy um, some toilet paper, things like that, you know, things that I'm allowed to buy. And I saw, I smelled this uh, new body lotion and it was like, oh, it was very nice coffee smell and I thought I want it and it was not that expensive. But then I tried it on my hand and the smell disappeared in like two minutes and I thought, no, I won't be buying this four euros for this smell that lasts two minutes and anyway I don't use this much body lotion I have I think three bottles of it because I keep people give it to me for birthdays and so on and I use maybe one bottle a year so I still have body lotion for two or three more years I don't need it so I put it on the shelf and I walked out and also was very proud of myself uh, then I had another temptation uh, which which is uh, buying a new foundation well I, I'm still planning to buy a new foundation because you know you need it kind of uh, to replace your old one but I had three foundations until recently 
and one of them was a long lasting one a high quality one and two of them were like cheaper and not that long lasting and i thought okay when i round up uh, when i run out of this good one i will buy a new one and i ran out of it a couple of days ago and i was like yes now i can buy a new one but then i thought well i still have two more and they're okay okay they're not that brilliant as the other one but i can still use them and i s they are also kind of old i don't use that much foundation i don't use it every day so they will just go bad if i don't use them up and i decided i will use up the other two and i will buy one foundation maybe later in the year and it will be my only foundation i won't have like three bottles on my shelf anymore because that's a lot of clutter there and they don't, don't um, and i don't have much space in my bathroom anyway but apart from that i didn't have that many temptations and that surprised me because for example clothes and shoes were a big temptation for me before but now I just uh, I just walk past a clothing store, a shoe store, and I'm kind of bored thinking about it, like going into it and checking out the clothes and trying them on. And you know, when you try clothes on, you have to take off your clothes and put them on, put take them off again, put on your clothes, and so on. It's uh, a bit boring. So I'm not I'm not that interesting, which surprises me. Um, and I think it kind of clicked in my head in the beginning of this year that I really have everyone that everything uh, sorry everything that I need and I don't need anything new so my mindset really changed at that moment before I started this this challenge actually and um, yeah it's good uh, last year at the beginning of last year I also tried this no shopping challenge or it wasn't like really no shopping but it was uh, limiting my purchases to maybe once a month or to maybe 50 euros per month and it didn't work and I read a very clever thought on the internet which said it's easier to stop purchasing completely than to limit yourself to a certain um, amount or um, to a certain budget because if you keep thinking about purchasing something you still you are still looking for new stuff you're just uh, thinking okay can I afford it is it within my budget or sometimes you keep start thinking okay I have like a 50 euro budget for this month and this thing costs a hundred euros but it's really good so I can like take this 50 euros from my next month and next month I won't be buying anything and then you purchase it but next month you find something else and you think okay I can purchase another thing but then I won't be buying anything for two months but it doesn't work like this yeah, but if you think okay I'm not allowed to purchase anything so just stop looking you're not allowed and you don't need anything you have enough of everything then then this changes your mindset but budget didn't really work for me so this was my um, short video on uh, the update of my no shopping challenge and the temptations that come with it and uh, you can um, like my video below or you can subscribe you're welcome and please share your thoughts in the comments and if you want you can also join my challenge thank you bye bye